Hi everyone, so we've got an exciting project we're going to be doing today. We are going to be making a wildlife pond from this water tank. <laughs> so Vince uh, got this from works, so he's a plumber, and we thought we could try and reuse it. So I think what we're going to do is put it in this area here. So I need to clear this area out and make it somewhat level so that we can put this on top and then we're going to put some bricks and stuff in there. We've got some plants to put in as well and then eventually we will have um, some gutter in from the shed which um, we just need to we just need to get that so once we've got the gutter in that can feed into this wildlife pond so we'll have rainwater in there very exciting so these are the plants that we've got to go in our wildlife pond so we've got a couple of irises and a couple of grasses like the oxy oxygenating plants um, so we're just going to pop them in they probably will need putting into bigger um, baskets but it is the autumn they will be dying back now so um, I think we'll probably wait till next year to do that maybe the spring and add to it as well um, but these will get us off started nicely so Vince is just building building he's just placing some some bricks and things at the side where any wildlife can get in and out happily so this is just bricks and things that were either on the plot or at home in our garden While Vince is um, putting the bricks in, I'm going to start filling up the wildlife pond. Vince is just going to finish off filling up the pond. So while he's doing that, I'll just show you a few things from last week. Well, this happened since last week. So the foxgloves I've sown, they're all starting to come up. So that's good. These will need a really big thinning out. I'm really pleased with that. And my salad bed is doing really well. My rocket's coming on absolutely brilliantly. And everything else is coming up as well so i'm really really pleased with that and um what else is really exciting is somewhere i've got french beans so that's really really exciting they're starting to come up now they're my dwarf ones 
for radishes are pretty much nearly ready to harvest now so that's really exciting I'm really pleased with that as well and my sweet corn I've actually got quite a lot of sweet corn coming up now so each one has got at least one on there so I think we might do alright with them actually I'm really pleased with that I think Vince has finished doing the um, and our allotment neighbour gave us some tomatoes so that was really nice of him um, the green manure bed wow look how they're doing so this was the borage I planted which is nearly ready um, so that's really good and then the rest of the green manures come up absolutely amazing so I'm really really pleased with how that's gone it saves it all being sort of empty doesn't it so wildlife area wildlife pond really pleased with that so we've just put the plants in um, half of where the, half the depth of where they should be just to settle in um, so once they're settled then we can put them in a little bit deeper to where they should be um, but like I say we are going to have a guttering system on here so that will then feed into this wildlife pond and what my vision is is to plant up around it to have this as sort of like a wildlife area so we've got some little steps here for any little wildlife to come up and we've got the same going inside um, and then yeah I think probably around this I'll just have I don't know what yet but something to make it look really nice and pretty and also be really good for wildlife so I'm really really pleased with that absolutely pleased I think we've only been here about how long have we been here Vince yeah we've been here about 40 minutes so this has been done in 40 minutes absolutely pleased with that really chuffed thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon